Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is an educational but funny little book called Do Frogs Drink Hot Chocolate? How Animals Keep Warm. What do you think? Do frogs drink hot chocolate? You ready to find out? All right, here we go. When it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? Hmm, what do you think? The answer is no. So how do they survive the chilly weather? Let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? What do you think? The answer is no. Some frogs don't even try to keep warm. <laughs> Look at that. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frog sickle. It spends the winter with most of its body frozen. When the air warms up, the frog warms up too. <laughs> do penguins snuggle with a friend? Hmm, what do you think? The answer is yes. In winter, thousands of emperor penguins come together in a giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but cold on the outside. So what do they do? The penguins shuffle. Taking small steps, they slowly change places. That way, they all get a turn in the middle. <laughs> Do butterflies sunbathe? Hmm, what do you think? The answer is yes. Butterflies can't fly if they are cold and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? Catch some rays. If it's cold, a butterfly will sit on a rock or log and stretch its wings. Then the sun warms up its flight muscles. Ooh. <laughs> do foxes wear earmuffs? That would be cool to see a fox wearing earmuffs, but the answer is no. Arctic, Arctic foxes have small furry ears. The fur helps, but so does the size. Ears stick out into the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. Oh, smaller ears don't stick out as much as big ears, so they lose less heat. Oh, so they have small ears to stay warm. Interesting. <laughs> do turtles jump up and down to keep warm? <laughs> that would be pretty cool to see turtles jumping on a trampoline. But the answer is no. Many turtles will burrow into the mud and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond. Oh, the water there is cold, but it never freezes. It actually stays at about 39 degrees Fahrenheit or 3.8 degrees Celsius and that's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they wait for spring. <laughs> oh, interesting. Do polar bears build homes? What do you think? Do they build big homes like that, like you and I live in? Hmm, the answer is yes. Oh, pregnant polar bears build dens, but not with wooden hammers, of course. Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. Oh, that's how they do it. The uh, When it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. The den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. <laughs> Uh-oh, what do you think about this one? Do whales wear snowsuits? <laughs> I'm gonna go with no on this one, how about you? Well, that's right, the answer is no. Whales have blubber under their skin. This layer of fat keeps their body heat in and the cold out. Whale blubber can be up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters thick. Whoa, that's pretty thick. It also stores energy so whales can keep going for a long time without eating. <laughs> do squirrels curl up under blankets? Ooh, what do you think? The answer is yes, well, sort of. <laughs> squirrels have built-in blankets. When it's cold out, they wrap their long, bushy tails around themselves so their body heat won't escape. And that's not all. As the temperature drops, less blood flows into their tails. Instead, it stays in their bodies to help them keep warm. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Uh, do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? <laughs> what do you think? Do they take hot baths? I don't know. Guess what? The answer is yes. What? Japanese meatcocks love to take warm baths. There are places in Japan where hot water bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, the meatcocks will jump into these hot pools to keep warm. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, do 
two Ataras sit by a campfire? That would be very interesting to see, but the answer is no. Two Ataras' bodies cannot make heat, but birds' bodies can. Oh, so what does a two Atara do? It has a sleepover with a little bird called a fairy prion. <laughs> The heat from the bird helps keep the tuatara from getting too chilly overnight. Ooh. Do honeybees use teamwork? Oh, very interesting question. What do you think? The answer is yes. In the winter, honeybees form a cluster around the queen bee. Then they shiver together. By vibrating their wing muscles, they raise the air temperature in the hive. Whoa! This keeps the queen toasty warm, and how do honeybees have all this energy for shivering? Well, they eat honey, of course. <laughs> and do birds fly south? What do you think? I've seen birds fly south for the winter. So the answer is yes and no. Oh, in winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth. Other birds survive wintry weather by eating as much as possible. This gives their bodies energy to keep warm. Feathers help too. When they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to a bird's skin. Oh, wow. Do guanacos wear leg warmers to keep warm? <laughs> yes, sort of. Guanacos have thick woolly coats, but there is very little fur on their legs. When it's cold outside, chilly guanacos lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies. <laughs> that keeps them nice and warm. All of the animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold. What about you? What do you do to keep warm? Well, for me, I live in Southern California, so it doesn't really get too cold, but I have nice thick jackets just in case. Well, thanks for reading along with me, and I hope you have boys and girls learned some fun stuff. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Make sure you hit the big red subscribe button on our main page and don't forget to check out all of our other great stories. See you next time.